Seems somebody forgot to shut the upstairs lights off when they went up there to get some casters yesterday. Don't know who the hell that'd be. Usually I can see that in the camera. Or I get a phone call, you know, when I'm about ready to go to bed. Hey, you left the lights on in the shop. Oh, well. Uh, just means if the dogs let me get to the door, we can see what we're doing about turning the rest of the lights on. That's how well it lights it up in here. Heck, I suppose I can finish showing you. I mean, it does do a pretty good job of lighting it up down here. Not quite enough where you'd want to work on much, but see around to do stuff anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, Amazon deliveries yesterday. That one. Like he's outgrowing them freaking car seats, and you don't want to know how much those cost. Jesus Christ. And I don't remember what Ty said that cost down was. I think this is one that she said somebody got for like I don't know, eighty seven bucks or something instead of the one that they were looking at that was more than that. Reviews were good, so I, I think some dogs, especially when it's starting to look a little fuzzy again, are going to meet that thing today. I, think. I don't know. Cause I, I know nothing. That'd be nice if it focus enough to catch the moon. That's just under a half a moon. Yeah, it lightened up a little. Well, look who's here. No blanket, no nap. She looks tired. Mind you, she always naps normally in the yeah. car. Not she usually here. naps from Thailand's out here. But with no blanket to snuggle into this morning because Brooke and Matt didn't leave her with a blankie. I don't think Thailand has one at her house. And, oh, and Ty don't have one at her I house. Really she bad. didn't get to nap on the way out here. No, she screamed at that. Oh. But now that she's here, she's not screaming. Don't climb out of there, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't climb out, please. Yeah, we can't go watch. Here, here, hold my milk and watch this. We were supposed to go swimming on Saturday, but we've been sneezing and, and grabbing at our ears, so. We thought probably best not to go. You left a grampy? Come on, Tiki Bot. Come on, Tiki Bot. Not oh. too tired to try to walk. Look at that. Oh, why are all jammy feet so big on kids? I mean, they think kids have... Well, because some kids have a good understanding, and when they grow up, they still have a good understanding. Well, she don't have no understanding. Those some kids, don't. Well, those <laughs> kids, We're taking big ass steps now. Those kids should have uh, non-footy pajamas. Hey, okay. big step up. Big there's, step up. There's your Blakely fix for now. There you go. Cause and effect. Got all the wheels on that thing. For the bolts holding the end ones, made sure we cleared this. Problem is, I didn't think about this ride right at the bottom. Literally, it just it's right there. So I'm gonna take a quarter inch off, not off this one, but off this one, and then it can go in. So how do you do it when you got something like this to do it with? Well. Put a one by under it. Hopefully, get in far enough. And yeah, better work. Otherwise, I might be slightly upset. Well, it cut okay. Only get up to here because of this. So, you know, there's where the blade was. I just did that with my knife, so part of it kind of busted up, but it's all just right there. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Now, I'll go put the slide back on and see if it fits. Found one with some writing on it. Yeah. Well, I'm at Industries Incorporated, Griggs Division, Lebanon, Oregon. Tico tested whatever. This one's done. Ready to go in. The other one worked. Truth. I can't remember how it goes together. Look at that. Magnetic stuff. The one bolt lined up right perfect on the plywood. Actually, two bolts, but I don't know if you can see them or not. But it's done. Cool. 
And it's time for lunch. And it moves. Go put this on Rudolph. Nah, I'll go put this back there where the power is for the heater on the John Deere. Little Case IH Red to help heat up a John Deere tractor, right? Change the light. Uh, might be that one you can kind of see in the middle of the screen. No, nah, wouldn't be that one. It'd be over to the right where the two feeders meet. Change that one because there's only two left in the box anyway. And now I'll go see if I can get this in without getting my hand full of paint. Ty's throwing some bales in for them. And I, uh, phone company was here to fix mom's phone earlier. There's a... Uh, Right there, the other side of the road. That's probably the one he was into. There's actually three of them up there. One on this side of the road, two on the other side of the road. But hey, he said, "Yeah, no wonder it wouldn't work." Mice made a nest in it, chewed a bunch of wires up. That's what I was looking for. My other glove. So yeah, she should be happy. It's had a buzz in it. Part of the time, didn't want to work right. And luckily it didn't affect our line. They both come same underground to the back of Mom's house and then our splits off from there. New guy too. Well, new for out here. He speaks pretty good English. I'm not even gonna guess what he what he might be. Spoke good enough to get along with him. And I'm kinda guessing maybe the other two guys that were usually out here have been talking about retiring. Might have finally done it. Well, they were good too. I mean, they'd uh, like sneak, sneak off a different box without permission. Shame on them. But that's how you keep the customer happy because that's how you keep the phone working. Since they got so many crappy lines and uh, Zipply Fiber took over what we had. So they were going to go everything all fiber optic. Well, we've been, what, five years now with them? Maybe longer? The only thing they're doing, fiber optic, is new developments. So if you're out here, we're still on, some of those wires are 60, 80 years old. And a lot of them don't work anymore. That district looks pretty good from here. Up close, once I turn it on, there's some goobers on it. That's all right. Nobody's ever going to know. And you might say, well, why is it red? Well, if it's clear, it just lights things up and you don't really notice it, especially during the daylight. And uh, if it's dark and that light goes off, you don't see it if it's clear. And being red, it's like, hey, look at me, look at me, I'm an attention whore. Really, one of these days, I've talked about doing it, but the way our shop door is open, it's kind of hard to. I'd like to put a couple of lights outside to say oops somebody left the lights on in the shop but now turn it on make sure it's gonna work turn it off then plug this thing back in because I need it again tomorrow cows have not totally finished what they were doing hey am I talented enough in a different spot let you get an up close look but I'm sorry I'm not talented enough there we go set this thing up on the fender not on the shitty tire and in the morning I just gotta turn that switch on <sighs> I can go in the wrong way I gotta go back to the house and get some things Take them back to the shop and get some things from the shop and take to the house. Vicious cycle. We're having fun. There was a cabinet. Came to here. There was another one. We're over. Becky's in there picking on Blakely. And Ty's learning how to carefully take things apart. There's things in here that I don't remember where they came from. I mean, hand-me-downs for friends years ago. The cabinets we took out, they were out of the old house. And 
this wasn't too bad of a set of drawers, but that shelf that's right there is messed up. So, we weasel it out of here one piece at a time. Well, that's everything we took out. Unfortunately, the set of shelves are underneath that bigger cabinet. That bigger cabinet's actually on the other side. That's what's sticking out there and there. Really nice looking shelves. Appear to be oak veneer. That's what's underneath everything is the shelves and stuff. But part of it, the glue is separating in the middle of the veneer, so you got funky pieces. Um, almost a full 4x8 sheet on the bottom. That was the back of it that was standing up. And then at the end of it was nailed into that orange cabinet. That's what made it clear across that to kind of make a wall. And this little cabin right here sat on top of the orange one. It's turned around so the doors would stay shut. They're kind of tucked inside the orange one. So there's where it is for now. Hopefully tucked under far enough it doesn't get too freaking wet. I mean, it's in there 25 feet, but that doesn't mean anything. And it is now starting to rain. And I took the opportunity to pick that plastic up that was laying outside over here. It's better there. Yay. Ty's getting feeding done. Go park this thing. Take a handful of ibuprofen. Maybe two or three handfuls. Maybe that'll help. No, I wouldn't do that. That'd probably help the wrong way. But I wouldn't be feeling any pain, right? So... Now at least the main stuff that was in the way to build a wall is out of the way. And if it's not raining tomorrow, I think Becky wants to get the file cabinets moved out, which they were <clears throat> right against that orange cabinet in the other room. They're still there. What do you know? Imagine that. So yeah, more fun, more fun, more fun. So, yes, I had to look. I was sure it was Friday, yeah, Friday the 5th. No, oh, it's only 20 after 3. Feels more like it's quarter to 5. Anyway, hope everybody had a good Friday. Hope everybody has a great Saturday. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. We've got a clean feed barn. We do that stuff. And still got stuff inside to move. Becky wanted me to do something. She said, You're going to have the bucket on, right? I don't know what it was she wanted me to do now, but something she wanted me to move with the bucket. So, yeah, sure would be nice to have two of these machines. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And at some point in time, you'll get to see everything come together, I hope.